Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1287. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about the amazing switch function. Now, this only is in Excel 2016 for Office 365 or later versions. If you don't have the latest version, including Insider version for Excel 2016, you might watch this video to figure out how to get this function. Now, the switch function is a lookup function that does exact match. Now, it's not like the lookup exact match or match and index exact match lookup. Switch is going to be more like the choose function. We're going to have an expression. That's going to be our lookup value. And then we're going to try and match the expression against value 1, value 2, value 3. And when it finds a match, then it has the option to return result 1, result 2, result 3. Now, last video we did the ifs. That's if with an s function. And that didn't have a default value, but switch will have a default value. Now, here's the example we did at the end of last video about ifs. Our goal is that we have the weekday here. And I need to return Sunday for 1. If it's 2 to 6, I need weekday. And 7 will give me Saturday. So here, let's check out the switch. Now, switch, the expression can actually be anything that you're looking up, a number, text, Boolean. I'm going to click one cell to my left, comma. And then the value, in our case, we're going to put 1. That means it will try and match whatever's in the expression against that. If it's a 1, comma, then we give it result 1. And I'm going to put it right in the formula, Sunday, and double quotes. Now I type a comma. Notice it says default value or value 2. This can be used for either one. We still have a value, so value 2 is 7. That means if the expression matches a 7, comma, then what do we want? We want result 2, which is quotes Saturday and double quotes. Now I type a comma. It says default or value 3, we have a default value because 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all going to get in double quotes, weekday in double quotes. That is a pretty cool formula there. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. So switch is looking up each one of these numbers. In this case right here, it found a 7 as value 2. So of course, it selected result 2 and put it in the cell. Now let's compare and contrast against ifs and choose. Ifs function is the one we looked at last video. If you were going to do this with the ifs, you'd actually have to build a logical test each time that comes out true or false. This is not a type of lookup function. It's just true or false. If this comes out true, then it gives you Sunday. If this one comes out true, then Saturday. And then because this is always true, that would be the default value, and then it would throw a weekday. So ifs would be more complicated than using switch in this situation. Now, in the old days, we used choose. And it's important to compare and contrast because choose is sort of similar to switch, except for with choose the index number. That meant the thing, in essence, we were looking up had to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then simply it would list all of the values. If it found in the index number a 3, it would return that one right there. And finally, we have VLOOKUP. Now, this is the one that I would do, even over this one right here. I would put this in the cells and say equals VLOOKUP. Hey, I'm looking up this weekday, comma, within this whole table right here, F4, comma. The second column has the thing I want to bring back to the cell, so I put a 2, comma. And the lookup range here is approximate match, and that's the default. So I don't need to put it in because the default for VLOOKUP is approximate. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. But you know, in this situation, this is so short and easy to type out. You could almost do this more quickly than you could build this table and then have this VLOOKUP. However, if you had lots of values or a big table, then of course you'd want to use VLOOKUP. Now let's look at our next example here. And whereas up here with switch, we were looking up 1, 7. But this expression can be anything. So down here, 
Oh, look at that. That's all hard coded in there. But check that out. The expression is looking up text. And then value 1, if it's Sue, it's going to return accounting department. If it's Gigi, it's going to return finance and so on. Hey, that would be fine if it wasn't going to change and you actually didn't want a table over anywhere. But we got to check out VLOOKUP again. Because in this particular situation, if we want a default value, which is the general, check this formula out. I'm looking this up. I'm going to highlight that and watch this. If I don't want this in the cells, I simply F9. Now I come to the end, comma, the second column is the item I want to return. Comma, it is not sorted, so I'm putting false or zero to indicate exact match. Close parentheses, Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. F2 to put it in edit mode. I do not want the NAs. I want a default value, so I use a function that was new in Excel 2013. If NA, if NA only checks if it's an NA, comma, the value if NA, then it's in double quotes, general and double quotes, close parentheses. Now I've edited this formula to populate it throughout the highlighted range. I hit Control and Enter. All right, here's where, of course, never to use switch. We just don't want to do it if, it if it's a bigger table and it fits the algorithm for VLOOKUP. Might as well use VLOOKUP. Finally, we're going to get to an example where switch absolutely rules. Here's our situation. We have three different rules, rule one, rule two, and a default rule for assigning whether a customer gets credit. Here's our inputs. And we have in this column right here what rule we're going to use. However, sometimes it says not specified. Sometimes it's left empty. This is a perfect situation where switch could look up the rule 2 or rule 1. But anytime it ran into something that's not rule 2 or rule 1, it could just dump the default in. Now, the other great thing about this example is Switch is not doing the examples above where we really should be probably using VLOOKUP. We need one, two, three different formulas for calculating whether we grant credit. So we're dumping one of three formulas. Remember, rule one, rule two, and then the default for everything else. Now, I'm going to copy these three formulas. Watch this. I'm going to highlight this in edit mode without the equal sign. Control C, C to copy that and open up the clipboard. Now I'm going to move the clipboard right over here and watch this. Escape. Then I'm going to come over here. Control C, Escape. And then the default rule, Control C, Escape. So this is going to be 1, 2, and default. Now watch this. This is going to be amazing. We're dumping one of three formulas. So switch. The expression, that's going to be rule two, rule one, or something else. Comma, I'm going to do in double quotes, rule one, in double quotes. So if expression finds rule one, it'll try and match that rule one right there. And then the result, comma, is going to be this formula right there. So there's result one comma. The default value, I'm not there yet. I need value 2. That's going to be in double quotes. Rule 2, in double quotes. So there is value 2. When I type comma, result 2, that's going to be this OR, which says, hey, one of the credit ratings have to be surpassed. I actually have a video link for how all of these credit rating formulas will work below the video in the show more, or I'll put a link in this workbook. All right, so that's result two, comma. Otherwise, the default rule, which is the one at the top. That is amazing. Close parentheses. Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. Go to the last cell. That is totally amazing. And it's quite a bit easier than using ifs or even a nested if link we did in the past. So this example, one of three different formulas we're dumping in the cell. So in essence, we're looking up a formula. Let's go to this next sheet, 1287-2, for another amazing example of when we can use switch. 
Sometimes we're looking up a sales amount, but depending on the product, we have different lookup tables. Now, in the old days, we do this with the choose function. And it's actually a really long formula. And, and I'm going to do it here. If you want to skip over this, click below the video in the show more, and then just go on to the switch formula. Now, here's how we used to do it. We needed to look up one of these tables. I'm going to use the choose function. Now, the problem with the choose function, which the switch function will solve, is that index number only takes 1, 2, 3, 4, et cetera, and we have a product name to look up. So this is where we'd have to build a little table off to the side to look up the product table and tell us which table it was, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So index number, you had to do VLOOKUP, comma. We're going to look up the product name, comma, the table, this one right here, F4 to lock it, comma, column index, we want the second, comma, zero, because we're doing exact match, close parentheses. So all VLOOKUP would do is return 1, 2, 3. Now, it's only going to return 1, 2, 3. And we actually have a fourth table, and choose needs a 4. So we'd have to do. Just like we did a little bit ago, if and a, if it turns out we can't find the product name, comma, then what do we want? A four, close parentheses. So now in the index number, we already had to use multiple functions to get either one, two, three, or four. Now, the rest of choose was pretty straightforward. Value, I just put in the table, and it's got to be in the right order, one, two, three, four. I'm going to lock this F4. So notice, comma, choose is looking up a range of values. F4, comma, value 3, the next table. F4, comma, value 4, there it is, the default table. F4, close parentheses. Now, if I were to enter this, this is ridiculous. I copy it down. It's looking up a table. But I can pick any one of these and highlight this and hit the F9 key. And you can see, sure enough, it found the right table. So the choose is then used inside of VLOOKUP. I'm now looking up the sales amount, comma. That whole choose has one of these tables, remember? Since there's an amount, it will be looked up in one of the first columns for whichever table choose finds. So that whole table is just three functions, choose, if, and, a, and v, lookup, comma. Column index, it's always going to be the second, so I type it 2. And these are approximate match, so I do not need the last argument. Close parentheses, control, enter. Double click and send it down. That was a great formula in the old days um, before Excel 2016 and Switch. And it got the job done. And by the way, you can use index function to look up multiple tables, but the tables have to be on the same sheet. So I always defaulted to using choose because they could be defined names or they could be on other sheets or whatever. All right, let's see how to use the switch function. So SW tab, the expression. I'm just looking up that product name, comma, value 1. I'm going to hard code this in, and I will show you how to not hard code this in later. But if it finds Bell in there, comma, then what's the result? It's this table right here, F4, comma. Default value or value 2, we still have value 2, which is going to be Aspen. So I'm going to, in double quotes, Aspen, comma, result 2, that's this table. F4 to lock it, comma, value 3, it's Carlota. So in double quote, in double quotes, comma, result 3, that's this table. F4 to lock it, and comma, this is where we put in our default table. F4 to lock it. And what's so nice about switch in this example is it does have that default table. So anytime it doesn't find a correct product here, it just uses the default table. Close parentheses, Control Enter. It's going to do the same thing because it's returning a whole table. But I could go to any particular one, highlight F9. I could see, sure enough, if you look through 
Boom. And by the way, this is array syntax, curly brackets. How's the array? Comma means go over a column. Semicolon means go down a row. So that's the array syntax for how to represent a table in a formula. Control Z, we don't want that array syntax. Now I simply put that whole table there into VLOOKUP. I look up the sales amount, comma, and I love this. That is a beautiful use for switch looking up multiple tables for VLOOKUP, comma, two for column index, comma. We do not need the last argument because the default is approximate match lookup, close parenthesis, control, enter. Double click and send it down. You've got to be kidding me. So let's just compare. That is a lot easier than this one. So switch really does have some amazing uses. Now. I don't like hard coding things into formulas if they can change. It takes a lot of time to type it out in double quotes and stuff. So of course, this makes sense, right? So value 1 is the Bellin. Value 2 is the Aspen. Value 3 is the Carlota. And then I don't need anything for the default. So Control Enter, double click and send it down. What's happening here? If you go through and match up these amounts, switch is only getting the default table. Now, I reported this as an error to Microsoft. And they looked at the fact that switch is working if you hard code something in, but not when you refer to it with a cell reference. And this is clearly an error, because any input in a formula should totally be able to understand a cell reference and get the bell in and deliver it. But switch has an error, and so they are actively trying to solve this problem. All right, so we saw switch function, an absolute beautiful use for switch to look up multiple tables in a lookup situation. Over here, we had switch looking up multiple formulas, including the awesome default final formula. We saw when never to use switch if it's a straight lookup situation. Do lookup. We saw over here, this is sort of a lookup situation, but switch absolutely has the ability to look up text values and then find the matching item and return it. And up here, we saw a great use for switch if it's looking up. And in particular, in this example, it was great that it had a default value. All right, we'll see you next video.